As we're in the season when many families gather, let us turn the spotlight onto sumo families and look at how various battling brothers have been performing. We start with the Iwasaki brothers, better known to you and I as Tobizaru and Hideno Umi. After an incredible top division debut in September, which saw him lead everyone after 12 days, Oitekaze Stable's Tobizaru entered November on a career-high rank of Maegashida 4, but expected to struggle against top-quality opposition. His first six days progressed in line with those expectations, starting with that mistimed pull due to opening night nerves, continuing with exploitation of his exposed left armpit, and ending with a catastrophic loss of footing at the rare site of victory. But a bravely faced middle weekend, in which he outwitted Onosho and frightened Mitake Umi, proved a decisive turning point, helping him to face Saitama Sakai Jr. Takakesho with renewed confidence on day 9. He made excellent use of that slapdown in week two, three times in fact, to finish with figures not nearly as bad as most had feared. However, his performance of the tournament, trumping even that against Takakesho, was this one on day 13. It was nice to see everything mischievous and creative about him on display there. But, right to the end, the gaps below his left armpit remained and must somehow be plugged. Six wins limit his fall to Maegashida 7 in January, and he'll be facing a slightly easier set of opponents. Hopes for him remain high. Older brother Hideno Umi of Kise Stable seems more than content with an extended run in Division 2. That's where he's been for the past four years now. How he failed to get a winning score in November must be a source of head scratching. A perfect start on days 1 and 2 was uncharacteristically followed by four straight defeats.
a perfect middle weekend against veterans Iki Oi and Shaw Horzan, followed by this force out of Chiono O, pulled him back to five and four. And despite a nasty shock from Ishiura on day 10, he rallied to beat Chiyomaru, then title frontrunner Midori Fuji on day 12. Hide was first denied a winning score only by this amazing pivot throw from dance master Chiyono Umi. And then on day 14, he felt a sharp pain in his right arm when it was grabbed by Kyokushu Hall. Although the exact injury was never made public, it seemed like the bicep was torn, costing him that match and rendered unusable for the final bout with Daisho Maru. Such rotten luck made it a losing score for both Iwasaki brothers. Hideno Umi down a rung to Judio 6. Of course, we hope to see them both fully fit and bouncing with confidence in 2021.